Apostrophe CMS onboarding series, Development Setup for Mac OS X. In order to get your Mac ready for local development, you need to install Node 18 or greater along with a package manager like NPM. We recommend that you install NVM, the Node version manager, to make installing and updating Node a little easier. You will also need to be able to connect your apostrophe project to a MongoDB instance. The easiest way to accomplish this is through MongoDB Atlas, a hosted version of MongoDB. Taking this route means that you don't have to install any additional software. However, you can also elect to install the MongoDB community server locally. All the URLs for the sites and the commands for installation are in the comments below the video. Just cut and paste the commands into your terminal. Step 1. Node.js Installation We recommend that you use the NVM Manager for several reasons, but the biggest one is that it avoids many permission problems when installing packages. There are other advantages like easy version switching for testing and for different projects, plus development environment consistency. The developers of NVM provide an install script at their GitHub repo. This script updates your shell configuration, so prior to running this script, you need to make sure that you have a .zshrc file for the default zsh shell. If you don't have one, create it using touch tilde slash dot zshrc. If you're using bash as your shell, make sure you have a dot bash rc file. You should also have Xcode or the Xcode command line tools installed. If not, run xcode-select-install in your terminal. This will give you access to a number of tools, including Git, which is useful for versioning during development and necessary for the apostrophe CMS CLI tool. Then, run the following command shown here to download the install script and install it in your system. I'm electing to quit and restart my terminal, but you can also type source tilde slash dot zshrc to get the same effect. In order to test if your installation was successful, type command-v nvm. It should return nvm. For any additional troubleshooting, see the GitHub repo readme file. Once nvm is installed, you can use the command nvm install 18 to install both Node version 18 and the npm package manager, or you can use nvm install 20 to install node version 20. Step two, MongoDB installation. Next, you need access to a MongoDB instance. Again, the easiest route is to use MongoDB Atlas. There's a generous free tier, and it doesn't require any setup beyond passing the access URI to the APOS MongoDB URI environment variable but you won't be able to develop locally when offline. The other option is to install the community server. The mongodb.com site has instructions for installing the community server for Mac OS. For server installation and ease of use, they recommend using Homebrew. 
To install Homebrew, run the command shown here in your terminal. Or you can also alternatively download the package installer from their GitHub repository. You will likely also have to update your shell path variable after installation. Just follow the instructions that the installer gives. Once Homebrew is installed, you can tap, update, and install the MongoDB server. Once installed, you can then run the server as a service so that it is running at system startup and you don't have to restart it after every reboot using brew services start mongodb-community at 6.0. The final thing that makes development easier but isn't required is to install the apostrophe CMS command line tool. This makes routine tasks like spinning up a project from a starter kit and adding new modules a little quicker. To install the tool, use npm install dash dash location equals global at apostrophe CMS slash CLI. At this point, you're ready to begin developing with Apostrophe. We will create a new directory for our projects. And then after changing into that directory, we'll run the command apos create along with a project name to spin a new project up. Note that if we are using Atlas for our database, we need to pass the access URL in through the mongodb-uri flag. The CLI tool will create the project by cloning from GitHub then it will install all the NPM dependencies. And finally, it'll create a new admin user for us. Once the CLI tool is finished making the project, we can change into that new directory and then run NPM run dev to bring the site up in development. The only other thing you will need is a code editor like VS Code or NeoVim. Whatever tool you select, they will likely have a variety of customizations like linters that will make working with your project a little easier. Great job on setting up your development environment. You're now equipped with the tools needed to build incredible projects with Apostrophe. If you followed this video as part of our tutorial series, you're all set to dive into our tutorial introduction that introduces the core components of Apostrophe and also what we'll be building. If you're here to get your environment ready for your own projects outside of our series, you're in a great position to start developing. If you have any questions about this tutorial or want more help in starting your Apostrophe CMS project, please visit our vibrant community in Discord, which you can join right now using the link in the description.